Hey you guys. So today I want to talk about anime in general and how I've seen, personally, I would say this kind of ever-growing popularity, uh, whether it's just in current animes that are out or this resurgent, resurgence of popularity for older animes that have been out for years, kind of talk about what maybe leans people towards more when it comes toward the anime style what I think anime has to offer instead of you know if you went more towards like a live action different substitute for not going the anime route with some of these shows and honestly kind of my journey when it comes to anime so when it comes to, from what I've seen, this kind of resurgence of popularity, or just the surgence of popularity, it's been a few different things. I think it's been currently with some of the stories that have been told, a lot of people are really interested in them. So we have this sort of, I don't even know if you want to say new generation. I guess it's really difficult for me to say because individuals that I knew, I didn't know too many people that were interested in anime or had mangas carried around or talked about anime too much. Um, I knew some, but not too many. And when it came to some of those, it was, you know, you had Pokemon, Naruto, um, one Piece not so much, it was Bleach, and I believe Dragon Ball Z. Those were some of the more common ones that I had heard about. But then now you have, like I'm hearing, you know, Demon Slayer, you have Jujutsu Kaisen, you have Attack on Titan, you have Hunter Hunter, you have uh, My Hero Academia, you have so many animes that people are interested in and like for a number of reasons. And even some of the animes that have been out for years are getting, I don't want to say reimagined, but they'll get this kind of resurgence of popularity because maybe, you know, I don't want to say a promotional Thing will come out but in some cases they will get a live action remake so you know we've seen that with Death Note we've seen it with Cowboy Bebop we've seen it with currently now One Piece and with a lot of these some of them are successful some of them not so much and when it comes to that I think nonetheless people become interested so if they liked it they then want to hey I want to see now what what's the manga like what's the anime like even people who have read the manga or watched the anime they now are interested in this live action because if it's good they're like hey I want to continue to see where this goes it's kind of now again kind of reimagined into this like real art form in a sense, real life, <laughs> if you will. Um, but if it doesn't turn out well, you have people who are interested as to, you know, well, what's the manga like? Well, what's the anime like? And they can then compare or make that opinion themselves as to, well, I think maybe the live action could have been better with this, or they could have done this, or maybe they just like there's maybe something with the anime, how it's drawn, how it's imagined, that just does it better than you can in live action. That's what I think part of it is with some of these. When it comes to a live action anime animation form, can it be done in, like, can it successfully be done in like live action. I think that's one of the like pieces that people really need to consider. 
anime is so unique with some of the when you look at some of these different animes that are out they all have their different kind of sense of style and their own art forms they all also have their own stories as they should and themes and messages that they're trying to get across it also very much you're able to do these sort of like fast pace movements easier in animation anime instead of in live action so if you wanted to do like a quick fight scene you know if you've watched you if you've watched Jujutsu Kaisen and you've seen like how they fight you can do a lot of that really easily in animation instead of in live action but you also have these creative and imaginative ideas that are easier to I think just draw instead of hey let's try and create this <laughs> somehow in live action and then people are going to look at it and be like what is you know like you're going to have I think a very split audience sometimes where it comes to oh that looks cool or oh that looks weird so if you can just if you can imagine it well in just your art form and then just drawing it that's always just going to be better instead of just doing it in live action or with real people with some of these ideas and having this sort of imagination with a lot of these concepts makes it 10 times better when trying to express I think a lot of these ideas and these concepts the best way that I can kind of relate that is even with my journey when it comes to anime I didn't watch Pokemon I didn't watch kind of the earlier anime is growing up I watched some of Dragon Ball Z but I did not understand what was going on <laughs> I will be honest with you it was just kind of on the television I never really knew what was happening but the I would say the movies or the what really got me interested was Studio Ghibli films so the first film that I had watched was Spirited Away then it was Kiki's High Flying Delivery Service, Howl's Moving Castle, and the list kind of goes on. Like, Studio Ghibli really made me interested in anime. And I think, again, kind of like I said, it's this sort of imagination. And it's, when you look at some of these ideas and the messages that are within these movies, how how do you want to express them and let's do them in a different way and if you're trying to be creative and you're trying to be I don't want to say different but if you look at it from the standpoint of a child who's watching it you're seeing these like different creatures and these I don't want to say colors because that's not the only thing but you're seeing these people and how things are drawn and then you see the story and sometimes you know as a kid maybe you get like one part of the message but then as you watch it again as an adult you get everything you get all of it kind of combined and you understand it more and that's where I think you have the interest of a child and you have the interest of adults where you have these kind of forms that interest people in a lot of different ways and how are you expressing that if you can grab multiple audiences with what you're trying to get out there I think that's always that's always number one and that's very I wouldn't say important but I think that at times can bring people together in a lot of different ways and if you look at some of the animes that we have today if you want to look at it just from like a television show format it's the same thing where you have literally like 20 to 30 minute episodes of something and 
then you have to wait or again depending on what you're watching you can binge it but they're not long episodes they keep you engaged and you're getting story you're understanding why characters kind of act the way they do same as any like with any other show but again it's the getting that story understanding how the characters work and then getting towards some of these messages and themes and how they connect to the show in general and even kind of connect to us and what we think. A lot of shows can do that really well, but I think that's where anime, you have that portion of it, but you also have the entertaining part of it. And that's what makes, I think, a show very successful. And that's what I think for a lot of people, they like anime and that's where I think it's become very popular because you have different characters who have these different characteristics and wide ranging where I wouldn't say they stick on one, but sometimes you like maybe the whole group, but there's one where you're like, yep, that's the one I'm... <laughs> I'm sticking with that's that's my character but you enjoy everyone like within the show and you enjoy the story and you enjoy the art form and you see these fast movements and paces and you want to see how everything continues to go and that's where I think anime has continued to be very popular and will I think continue to be popular for a lot of people that's just kind of my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts down below on what you think and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.